Oh, here's the mail I want to wear. It makes me want to wear my shoe. Mail time, guys. Guess what we're doing today? Filming an unboxing and first impressions. Inside this box are the VeloFlyer Hellier 2 bars. I ordered these bad boys back in March. I've been waiting four months to get my hands on them, but today is the day. As you guys probably already know, I'm not one for like big cinematic unboxings. I think it's a waste of time. Packaging, y'all ready for the big reveal? Gonna be popping that later. Ooh, nice and narrow, let's go. All right, I have to say their wrapping job is uh, pretty stout. First look at the Velo Flyer Hellier 2 track bars. So the key feature here is this horn, right? And the idea behind these bars is that they're really good for mass start racing. So when you're off the front or anything like that, you can grip right here on the hoods, as you would probably call them. Um, and that allows you to sort of get more aero, be more comfortable. You don't have to be weighing the drops all the time. Open up those lungs and that diaphragm and get that good breathing and hopefully keep the heart rate low, but also, you know, still have a good spot to grip on. On my 37 centimeter Scottos that I currently have, I don't have that same kind of grip ability here. Everything on my BMC currently is like matte carbon weave, and these are just gonna stand out. So this is gonna maybe ruin the aesthetic a little bit. You know, I understand VeloFlyer had issues, but not gonna lie, pretty, unhappy with the gloss finish versus the matte finish. I would have been really stoked on a matte finish and now I get these as backup. If you guys want to see this finish a little bit more up close and personal. That's a clean profile though. So that's my first impressions on the finish and how they feel. I am really excited for them even though they are gloss, but let's get them on the BMC and then head over to the Velodrome and ride them and see how they really feel. Where are you, bar tape? Ba -ba -ba -ba. <sighs> Knew I had tape. Let's go. All right, first order of business is to get the Scottos off of the BMC. They don't look terrible, but let's head over to the track to see how they ride. Yeah. I'm back in my bag, y'all. Conscious. I saw. Dumb. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this sh for real When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel Shorty throw that thing back in a pair of hills Yeah, she be riding on that thing like a ferris wheel Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin, caramel You know I had to bring her to the hood Like she carrying silver when she keep on turning head Cause when she woke that thing, just And hey, we going back to back on them like we here, we and we ride It's windy, I can't have this up there just that back in my back, look, we back to chase the climbing. We're out here riding in ovals, and my first impression is that these bad boys are narrow. So let's first talk about the Scottos. The Scottos are 37 sprint bars. Now, these bad boys are only 33 at their widest. That new width is going to take a lot of getting used to, but overall, I really like it. I went way narrower on my road bike already, and I absolutely love that. So as I get used to this one, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love being super narrow on the track also. Being able to ride on the tops without worry of my hands slipping off is actually fantastic. So this whole time, I was able to put in a few efforts and absolutely rip it, get real low, get real aero. And honestly, I like that position so much better than being in the drops. I do that on my road bike all the time, and now it translates perfectly to the track. The drops are no slouch here. I believe the reach is like 110 millimeters. My Scottos were like 90. So I can get a little bit deeper in the hooks, especially when I'm looking for that push-pull action to get up to speed really quickly and get sprinting. Right, 
gonna take you around one more lap. Overall, these are definitely mass start bars. Once you're in the drops, you can't quite leverage the same amount of power that you could with like the Scottos. One thing I did not do is drop down and go forearms on bars and hook my hands outwards. And the reason being is because it's extremely windy out here today and I don't want to die. Even though on the spec sheet, these bad boys say that they're deeper than my Scott is, I don't know that they feel that way. Now, I'm gonna attribute that to the fact that these bars are much, much more narrow, so you don't feel like you're quite as deep in the hooks. As I mentioned before, and now I'm confirming, the uh, gloss finish does look like on the BMC, but I'm pretty sure I'll get over it. If you're looking to spend money on new bars, honestly, I don't think you can beat these at $285. You're getting basically the same thing that you would be getting if you went with the $1,200 Velo bike version, but at a huge discount. So shout out to Velo Flyer for once again, making a super affordable solution for those of us that are mass start racers on the track that just wanted something with that hood feeling so we can get real low, real arrow, and go fast when we're off the front. Quick and dirty summary. I do feel like the hoods could come up a little higher, but I think that can be solved with some fine tune adjustments. I feel like the reach could feel a little deeper, but also I might just add some spacers to the stem kit. Don't tell BMC. And then lastly, maybe I should have gone with 35s because I would have gotten a little bit more leverage on the outsides of the bars. But at the end of the day, I think I'll get used to them and it won't be a problem. Those are my thoughts. I'm excited to race the Hellier 2s. See you guys on the track. Ugh.